Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. Now, as I suspected, yes, there is a material spend leaderboard up, but <clears throat> when I said my prediction, did not know incursions. Yay, incursions! So excited. Would be happening, what, at the end of next week? So, mm. nope, not going to say it. You can see, it is for, I don't even know who to call these guys, Old Man Riker and Old Man Worf. I'm not saying pick Riker and pick Worf. It's so stupid. Ugh. But, I suspected it was going to be another spend for the Doctor. Not that that's even a better name. Ugh. These people in names. But I have promised my video of testing the doctor's officer ability in Armada. So even though this spend event, an XSLB, which we hate, for Old Man R Riker and Old Man Worf. Tongue tied trying to say them together. Who I guess are kind of useful in PvP, but you're still going to get your video about the Doctor. Let's keep going back. I have done the Armadas already. No, I'm not going to do Formation Armadas. As you can see here, I did three Jem'Hadar 53 Epics. <sighs> did the first two. You see Pillum, Coronar with the right crews, and then use the Defiant with... Jordy, Tasha Yar, and the Doctor. Now, I'm not going to go over the battle logs for the first two, at least yet anyway. I did look through those battle logs. They appear to be about the same as what I was thinking. Much like the Hostiles. But with this one, and again, I made the same mistake. Stacked too much health, at least I think anyway. So, the third one here, uh, as you can see, the Defiant never lived. Which, yeah, I'm not going to turn this into a rant about how garbage this stupid-ass ship is, but... Because this is about the Doctor, not how terrible the Defiant is. And how my Pillum and my Coronar barely feel this epic... And the Defiant is, you know, scrap metal. But I stacked less health for this one on purpose. So let's look in the battle log and pull out the calculator. Resize this a little bit. So it's not too ridiculous. Let me find where Defiant gets hit. Okay, right here. First hit by the Defiant. Or first hit. First time the Defiant got hit. <clears throat> you can see 1.7 million damage from the Armada weapon. Mitigated 476. 476. 783. Uh, okay. 7. Yeah, I probably do need to get a new mouse. This one doesn't seem to like me. Not that most computers like me. That's alright. I don't like them. Yeah, there we go again. Alright. Make sure I got put these numbers in correctly. 476783 And we get about 28% mitigation. I mean, that's not, I'm trying to remember what it was before. I guess it was about that before. Okay. And you can see after the salvo, look, the doctor's ability activated. And here the Defiant gets hit again. Roughly the same size shot, 25,000 damage more. But 
as you can see, mitigated over a million. So let's put that in there. Zero nine one divide one seven two five five two six. And we get about fifty eight point six percent mitigation. Initially, when I was doing this, I definitely stacked too much health. <clears throat> and the reason I wanted to stack less was to see if he does stack. Some wonky things were going on with my calculations the other day, so not 100% sure. And as you can see, the doctor activated again. That doesn't appear to be different, but let's do the calculation and see. 7124 divide 718133. That's about right. See, I don't get that. Like, why is it not? That is so weird. That is so weird. Like, why? Why is it mitigating different percentages? I mean, I know the ability triggered again, but shouldn't it have gone up by more than 9%? That's so odd. <clears throat> I mean, that's, I mean, I wonder if it, it, it has to be. Do you mitigate different percentages for a kinetic weapon per an energy weapon? I mean, I guess it's possible. I haven't heard anything like that the whole entire time I've been playing this game. I mean, Rev is, Rev is pretty good at these battle logs and, and knowing mitigation and stuff. I learned a lot from him. But I remember him saying that, like, energy and kinetics get mitigated differently. I guess it's possible. But, I mean, we had 28%, then we had 58%, then we had 67%. So, <sighs> but this is a critical hit. So, I wonder if maybe those get mitigated differently. It's possible, I guess. Maybe the critical damage part doesn't get mitigated the same way. Now, this doesn't help because you don't get the defiant doesn't get hit in the second round. And that is something I alluded to. You get hit in the first round, you, the, the ability activates. So you really only get it for a round and a half. Well, if you don't get hit in the second round, then it's all gone, right? Alright, so let's check the third round out. Coronar, Coronar, Coronar. Yeah, it hit the same ship. That's cool. Defiant. It does hit the Defiant this time. Let's see what you mitigated. Two, six, two, seven, five, zero, six. Divide. Four, four, eight, four. Zero nine six down to fifty eight percent. So that tracks, right? These two were about the same. So it almost does kind of look like of course this was a critical hit. So it is possible that was mitigated differently because of the critical hit. Right? Maybe the critical damage is it mitigated the same way? I haven't heard anything like that, but it does kind of look like it, maybe? Or it does kind of look like his ability stacks. <sighs> Let's 
Let's go to the next round, see if the Defiant gets hit. And it doesn't. Way to help me out, game. Alright, here we are in the fifth round. Coronar. Pillum. Cool. Pillum, Pillum. Defiant. Shields depleted. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty low. Two, seven, three, five, seven, seven. Four, five, four, six, nine, three, eight. Down to twenty eight percent, right? Well, that's right, because that was that one, but that was the third round, so everything had gone away. Wait. Where do you see the triggering of Dick Nuts ability? Okay. Because of the at the okay. Now that's interesting because these last shots hit the defiant. The doctor didn't activate at the end of the round here. He activates at the start of the sixth round. Did I not notice that before? And that would be why his ability was active. In the third round. Right? No. Still somewhat confused on how this dumbass shit works. What was this? Two six. So is that one. Okay. Because this was the third round. That's weird. The end of the third round. He must have he must have gotten hit at the end of the first round and there it activated in the second round. And that is why he had it for the third round, even though he hadn't been hit for a while. So that's that is good to know that if you get hit, because I think firing patterns for armadas are they generally have big shots that fire at the end of every other round. Now, okay. See, it, it, it activates here. But if it's your last shot here, it won't activate till the next round. Okay. Interesting. I guess I have noticed that before. I guess I never really put it together, I guess. Is the right way to say that? Yeah. So you're at, we're active here in this in this sixth round, or we should be anyway. That doesn't. I don't know if that kind of looks like it or not. Nine nine seven zero six five. There we go. Thank you. 58% again. But, see, we're active for round six. We got hit in round six. So we should have two stacks. So the next time we get hit, like here, let's see what it says. One, one, four, five. Two three nine divide one six eight nine seven two three. That goes up. Right? If you can remember this one here. So now it looks like it increases like thirty percent on the first go round, then like the second time you're hit, and maybe there is stacking. It only adds another nine percent mitigation. Okay. I mean, something has to be stacking somewhere. I 
I mean, I guess I would have expected it to be more. Because if you go from 28 to 58 here, wouldn't you think you would get the max mitigation? <sighs> Don't know. Let's see if I get hit again. Nope. Corner, 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 corner. Yeah, keep hitting that. Hit the pillow. Don't help me out. Help me out. Hit the defiant. All right, hit the defiant here. And as you can see, the second shot of this big gun at the end of the round, it hit and activated the ability immediately. If it hit him here, the last one, I guess it would have started the next round. But let's math this one out. 963 divide 4775857 It's almost like it's exponentially getting smaller. It's increasing, but it is getting you're getting a smaller increase every time. It's interesting. Because we went from 28% to 58.5% to 67.5% to almost 70.5%. Okay, okay. I've got a clue where we're at. Here's, here's a Defiant getting hit again. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 6. Divide one seven zero eight five five four back down to fifty eight percent. Lost a few, I guess. Because the only ones that would be activated in round eight were would be well, I guess if they activated in round seven, they should be in there. So there's one. Now it would have to be round seven because if it was round six, it would be active for round six and then round seven. If it's a round, hits in round seven, then it's active for round seven and round eight. So we only got hit once in round seven. Right there at the end. But we do get hit here, so if we get hit again, and we don't. <sighs> Thing is not doing me any favors, is it? For, nope, that's the wrong button. Six, five, divide, one, six, nine, seven, three, two, three. We're at 50. This is consistent, though. This is very consistent. 58.5%, almost 58.6%. It's very consistent. So, I mean, that's good, at least, right? <clears throat> Seemed to be pretty wonky with the other day. But it's, it's fairly consistent-ish here. Let's see if we get lucky again and we get hit again. Does get hit again. So if this one was 58%, then this one should be what? 67.7%? Well, let's see. 1176109735270. I mean, It has to stack, right? It has to. Otherwise, why does it consistently keep increasing again? Now, it's only increasing by another 9%, but it does seem to be increasing. Gets hit again. Oh, gets hit multiple times. Okay. Okay. 
Defiant destroyed. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> got it on the last one. All right, let's see where we're at. Because if we're at 67%, we're in the same round. So, two, seven, six, eight, two, three. Divide. Four, six, six, three. Two, three, three. See, there you go. That has to be stacky. It has to be stacky. Because it was, if it would be one thing, if the numbers were kind of all over place. But you can see a pattern here, right? Let's check this one out see where we're at three zero because you can see the ability did activate one four one eight nine divide where the fuck are we at four two four eight zero six zero okay technically that is another increase but a very small increase So what were we starting out at? 29% or 28%, then you go up to 58%, then for 50, so what, a 30% increase. Then when you go again, you get a, what, a 9% increase. And then it's, what, a 3% increase. And then it's two-thirds? I'm not a math genius, but is there... Is there a pattern there? Yeah, that's about 30%. And then this is about, it's about 9%. So you go 30%, then 9%, then 3% to then Point seven percent or two thirds, right? That's interesting, yeah. That's puzzling. That does seem like it is increasing, but it, it's increasing by an exponentially smaller amount. Sound like a thing? Possible. I haven't got a clue why. Guess because, you know, three. Maybe if it wasn't 300%, so essentially three times. And then Armada. Ar oh, I'm sorry, not Armada. Armor, Shield, Deflection, Dodge, another three. Maybe. Maybe. So, I think this video went a little better. Because I definitely see a pattern of increase. So it definitely looks like he stacks. Okay. Is he stacking? I I only know what the numbers tell me. And what do these numbers tell me is that he does stack. Does he really stack? Don't know. I know what I see. To me, he looks like he stacks. Doesn't say it, but it do it does only last two rounds. So it's not like Killy or Dr. Crusher, where it says they're cumulative because they infinitely stack. This doesn't infinitely stack, so is he cumulative? No, not really. But you can also see how because this was the whole battle. You started out at base mitigation, then you got a hit, then you got another hit, right? But then you lost the abilities, and you were back to your normal mitigation. But then you were able to build it back up. So yes, his ability can work for you in an armada. One, you see that it does actually work. Two, 
you do see that it does stack. Now, if I had put more health on there, I probably would have gotten to max mitigation. But I wanted there to be a difference in the numbers so you could see it. So I could see it. We all could see it. But, as I'm, I'm trying to say here, be careful. Because the Armada has several targets to choose from. If you do a solo, then it only has the amount of targets you put in there. Right? If you put one ship in there and you put the doctor there, then he's always going to hit the doctor. You know, you put two ships in there, then he's going to hit it more than if you had three ships in there. But there's no guarantee on what ship is going to get hit. And even for group armadas, if you have five or six ships in there, who's the, who, who's the armada going to hit? We, we don't know. So you can use the doctor. Is he better than, let's say, Beverly, Blue Beverly, Next Generation Beverly? <sighs> Non-red-headed Beverly. There we go. Oh, no, wait. Red-headed Beverly. Because you got red-headed Beverly, and then you got the new Beverly that isn't redhead, which is it, weird. All right. Summing up here. No more tangents. Yes, the Adoptor's ability, his officer ability, does work on Armadas. You can get mitigation. You can, at some point, get to max mitigation, assuming your ship gets hit enough. Because, from what these shots are telling me, that his ability does stack. So yes, you can use it, use it with caution, but, and I know there's probably no more leaderboard, but you never know, you might see him in a syndicate advancement event, maybe, and possibly the event store in another two or three months. You can use all this information. You can pursue him however you choose. Comment below. What do you think of the Doctor? Have you used him in an Armada? I think his officer ability is fairly good. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, Commanders.